right, calm down, mate. It's not as if you just completed a stunning upset all the odds comeback to win a national election, is it? Oh, wait, you did. Javier Millet has promised a new dawn. Almost 40 years of leftist rule finally abolished. <laughs> Having lost the first round of voting, Javier Millet roared back to beat his opponent by more than 10%, completely confounding all the polls that said he would lose, leaving his rival supporters blubbering like Hillary Clinton voters in 2016. Politico, social, y económico. The media calls him a far-right outsider, yet Javier Millet calls himself a libertarian anarcho-capitalist. Those two things are quite distinctly not the same. Everyone calls him El Loco, the madman. Can't quite fathom why. <laughs> His dead dog told him to run for president. The so-called Argentinian Trump has vowed to make Argentina great again. Base! And just like Trump, he's a TV celebrity turned political campaigner. So who is Javier Malay and what does he actually believe in? Well, he's not shy about telling you. Al zurdo de mierda no le podés dar ni un pero, milímetro. Pero me podés definir zurdo de mierda que no Todos lo los que, digamos, los colectivistas, <risa> los que ponen, digamos, o sea, esa idea... A ver, ¿Por qué le pones de mierda, digamos? Porque son una mierda. ¿Veis? Si vos me sí. clas... No, pero, pero es que si de pensás... De... Pero, no, pero, digo, pero si pensás distinto te van, a, te van a aniquilar. Ese es el punto. Es decir, vos al zurdo no le podés dar un milímetro. Porque le das un milímetro y lo toma para destrozarte. ¿Veis? Zurdos, hijos de puta, tiemblen. La libertad avanza. ¡Viva la libertad, carajo! ¿Veis? Ministerio de Cultura, afuera. Ministerio de Ambiente y Desarrollo Sostenible, afuera. Ministerio de las Mujeres y Género y Diversidad, afuera. Ministerio de Obras Públicas, afuera. Aunque te resistas. ¿Veis? Ministerio de Educación. Adoctrinamiento. ¡Afuera! Se acabó el curro de la política. ¡Viva la libertad, carajo! ¡Ey! ¡Sordos, hijos de puta! Ahí tienen. ¡Las pelotas voy a pedir Estado! ¡Ey! ¿Sabés qué es? La bandera del anarcocapitalista. ¿Sí? La bandera de los liberales libertarios. El negro tiene que ver con la anarquía. ¿Veis? Cringe. Libertario. La anarquía. Cringe. Es decir, esta es una sociedad que está infectada de socialismo. Y lo que hay que lograr es sacar el socialismo de la cabeza de la gente. Based. ¿En qué locura estamos viviendo? La locura de la corrección política estúpida, donde básicamente, no, si ustedes no recitan el socialismo cool, si ustedes no son woke, entonces son violentos, son un peligro para la democracia. Vamos, muchacho. Seguro. Sigamos con estas estupideces y, y en lugar de ser 140, vamos a hacer la villa miseria más grande del mundo. Base. 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 For the most part, quite base. And while we're on the subject of base, that's why I'm excited about today's video sponsor, Tiege Hanley. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you already know that Tiege Hanley simplifies the whole process of taking care of your skin by providing the essentials every guy needs in their skincare system. They have a bunch of other products too, but they just dropped their retinol stick, which is gonna be a game changer. This ultra high performance anti aging product is jam packed with top notch ingredients, including retinol, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. It's designed to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles. Mm. Firm up your skin and boost collagen production, all while keeping your skin hydrated. Yes, there are other retinol products on the market, but as usual, Tiege innovated by creating theirs in a stick format, which glides on effortlessly and creates an invisible barrier to lock in the much-needed benefits of this product. To celebrate the launch of the product, they're giving my viewers an extra special deal to get started. When you use my special link in the video description down below to buy a retinol stick, they're going to throw in a whole free skincare system. That's a $33 value and they're giving it to you for free. And when you claim this amazing offer, you'll become a Tiege Hanley member, which also comes with tons of perks, including 20% off the retail price, exclusive access to monthly deals, flexibility to pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. So if you're ready to take your skincare routine to the next level and enjoy firmer, smoother, more youthful looking skin, this retinol stick is unbeatable. Don't miss out. Click my link in the description to get started today. Well, Tucker's happy. Millet perfectly encapsulated why his success represents such a threat to leftists. Not only how it factors into Trump 2024, but what it means for the culture war worldwide. Como los estamos aplastando en la batalla cultural, los estamos pasando de arriba, porque no solo le ganamos en lo productivo, somos superiores moralmente, somos superiores estéticamente, somos mejores en todo. 
y les duele, les duele. Entonces, como no pueden pelear con las herramientas legítimas, se, apa se apalancan en el aparato represivo del Estado, poniendo torres de guita para hacernos mierda. Y aún así no pueden, no pueden. Tuvieron que bajar la nota, tuvieron que bajar la nota. ¿Me entendés? Que están perdiendo. Están desesperados, están perdiendo la batalla cultural, los zurdos de mierda. Por primera vez se ven acorralados los zurdos de mierda. Base. He's vowed to abolish the central bank. Based. He's called climate change a socialist lie. Based. He's opposed mandatory vaccinations. Based. The phrase as rich as an Argentine was once a common refrain. After the turn of the century, they had the fastest growing GDP in the world. We're still as rich as much of Europe up until the late 50s. Buenos Aires was known as the Paris of the Americas. We behold beautiful Buenos Aires. Queen of the Rio de la Plata and capital of Argentina. Then socialism happened. Now four in ten Argentinians are living in poverty and inflation is at 140%. Los zurdos de mierda. But wait, not everything is as straightforward as it seems. Some in the dissident right are warning that Millet isn't all he's cracked up to be. He's vowed that his first trip as president will be a visit to Israel. Based. He's pro-legalization of prostitution and drugs. Based. And he described open borders immigration as wonderful and fabulous. Based? No, n not based. But to be fair, he wants to eliminate the welfare state before any of that happens, which would deter economic migrants. Meaning you'd only end up importing a relatively small number of self-sufficient ones who actually contribute to society. But then again, if he got the economy going again, wouldn't a bunch of economic migrants just turn up and work the black market anyway? The sex and drugs thing is just typical libertarian, harebrained, delusional thinking. We've seen what happens when a society becomes overly permissive and stops even intervening in open-air drug use. The crackhead zombies take over. Base? No, really not base. Presumably Millet has never heard of San Francisco. The over-the-top pro-Israel stuff is also a bit weird for someone who poses as a staunch populist. He's also not entirely unfriendly to the geopolitical agenda of the US military-industrial complex, which is a bit of a concern. But then again, he is anti-abortion. But I mean, he's clearly not far-right, is he? He's a libertarian populist. He literally dresses up as his superhero alter ego, General Ancap. <laughs> Bit cringe. The far right always uses state power to advance its agenda. Millet plans to do precisely the opposite. So to compare him to Bolsonaro is pretty dim, because the Brazilian Trump very much weaponized the state to crack down on the criminal gangs and mafias that were ruining that country. This part's key though. Note how in the immediate aftermath of Millet's victory, globalists are already vaguely threatening the sudden emergence of violent leftist riots as a form of resistance to Malay's political objectives. Overall, Malay's spectacular come from behind victory is a massive white pill. Because all the right people are freaking out over it. And that can only ever be a good thing. <laughs>